So why is getting to orbit from the surface of Mars so much easier than the surface of the Earth? Life on Mars is made difficult by a series of factors. But three of these factors also make it ideal for launching from the surface of Mars into orbit. They are simply the density, the mass, and a lack of any meaningful atmosphere. Now let's look at the density, which is lower than Earth, and the mass, which is significantly lower. From these, we get a gravitational field strength. And that means for every kilogram, how much, how many Newtons do you weigh? And the formula, as you can see above, is related to the mass of the planet divided by its radius squared. Low density means a greater radius than it could be expected, hence lower gravitational field strength. What we find on the surface of Mars, it is just 38% of that on the surface of Earth. On the surface of the Earth, you need to get to about 7,800 meters per second. Plus, you have somewhere between 1,500 to 2,000 meters per second of additional losses. In Mars, the additional losses are much smaller. Why? There's very little atmosphere, very little drag. Second, the actual gravitational field strength is about 38%. And so you have far less gravity losses. Also, you get to orbit quicker. Finally, the gravitational field strength means that also that the gravitational potential energy you need to convert to is also considerably less. Finally, most important, actual orbital velocity is closer to 3,400 meters per second rather than 7,800. Now, finally, looking at general ideas or figures for both Starship version 2 and version 1, we find out that they both have an expected delta V of around about just over 6,000 meters per second. And this is because the Starship 2 has a larger payload. Either way, this is more than enough to have a single stage to orbit. When you add them all together, it makes getting from Mars to orbit far easier. And for Starship means you don't need a booster.